Hey guys, Gina here. Um, just gonna start a new, uh, well, it's a, like a new hobby, uh, so to say, but I finally got my recording, um, hardware, software for making Let's Plays. Um, I've been watching lots of Let's Plays lately, uh, mostly Attacking Toucans, uh, Jobs Jetson, their Versus a video, um, H.C. Bailey, I'm a really big fan of everybody, um, even Miss, uh, Madame Wario, uh, she uh, put a video up on how to make Let's Plays, followed it, and here I am now. So uh, basically, I want to just do like a trial run of uh, Legend of Zelda, a Skyward Sword. So we're going to just go ahead and um, click on the game, and let's start. So basically, uh, just for y'all to know a little bit more about myself, I used to be um, an editor, of AMV editor. Um, not so much anymore, it's been like a whole year since I've edited something. Um, unfortunately, uh, I kind of just lost interest in it. Um, I am still editing just more of like uh, the Legend of Korra videos and things like that. Oh my dog, sorry. Let me, let me shut the door because he's barking so much. Okay. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and start. sleep in every cell to game every every time <laughs> all those birds are so cute oh they're so cute all right so he gets a letter from Zelda okay 
It's a John Joy little cutscene? I do. I love that cutscene. Uh, this game has amazing, amazing scenes. Um, one of which, uh, later on in the game, is very, very um, near dear to my heart. It's, I think, one of the best Zelda cutscenes. And I'll talk about it more when we get to it, probably later on as we play. Okay, so we start out the Night Academy. Um, and now cool that Link can now sit. And uh, when he's actually hurt, he can heal himself when he sits. Um, but he, look, he makes little carvings, which is cute. He's like got a little bird, uh, some fox looking thing. Um, open this up, get some money. No. And it looks like he has like some college stuff in the background. Alright, so let's go exploring. Um, but anyways, yeah, uh, the new Let's Plays I want to do, um, I really, really want to see how people would, uh, think about this. Uh, yeah. I sure like it so far. Um, but yeah, this is one of my favorite games. Not my favorite Zelda game, though. Um, actually, my favorite Zelda game has to probably be either Ocarina of Time, <laughs> surprise, surprise, or, um, actually, A Link to the Past. Um, that's my very first Zelda game I've ever played is A Link to the Past. But the very first one I've beaten, I would say, was probably Majora's Mask. And then it was Ocarina of Time. <laughs> um, but yeah. Alright, but yeah, if y'all definitely want to comment on which one's y'all's favorite or, you know, just any Zelda fan in general, I'm all here for that. So basically we just talked to the one of our instructors and one of our upperclassmen, uh, Pippet. Um, later on, he, uh, you're involved in like a little side quest, but basically he's telling you about the wing ceremony. Um, if you have any questions, you can definitely just let old Pippet know. Alright dude, you're copying my style. Those are my clothes. But you have that nas nasty uh, yellow mustard disgusting color. Anyways, let's go. Um, but these are their dormitories. Um, I think Zelda's is in the second uh, floor. Okay, let's talk to this guy. Good morning, Link. Today is the big wing ceremony, right? I wanted to fly too, but I... I didn't make the cut, so I'm stuck back here at the academy. Plus, I got to move these barrels for the... Ugh. Move these barrels over to the kitchen. <laughs> I was hoping at least I'll be able to cheer you on, Link, but I guess that's the way it goes. Go out there and wow them, buddy. Alright. So, let's talk to him again. <laughs> I'm not like you, Link. I feel at everything I try. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, oh, dude, don't be so hard on yourself. Now, don't jump off the the island. Oh, I'm already swinging my remote as if we have a sword to break these pots. Okay, pick up, pick up. No, I want to pick up the barrel. Let's go. But yeah, anyways, um, so I just got back home from from school. I'm only taking uh, two classes right now. Um, and I actually have homework to do for my calculus class, but I got I did most of it, so I'll do the rest at another time. <laughs> um, and I actually finished my. I'm also taking a computer science class, which it's difficult, uh, you know, it's com it's different than what I thought, but I do enjoy a lot. Uh, well, the assignments was pretty difficult. Um, I, we just had to calculate, like, this program that calculated prime numbers and had to spit out the divisors and... I went to the tutor, so she helped me, but then she even had a hard time on doing it. Um, and then I was like, well, why don't you do it like this? And, you know, it's like this and this and this and blah, blah, blah. And she's all like, oh, wow, I didn't think about it like that. Anyways, yeah, I felt smart that I helped the tutor, even though she was supposed to be helping me. 
But anyways, um, yeah, that's what I did today. Uh, such a big thing. Okay, this lady- oh, no! Oh, my bad. I dropped the barrel! Oh, oh my gosh, did I glitch it? Oh my gosh, what did I do? Pick up the barrel, Link! Oh my gosh! It's glitched! Does this glitch? Oh my gosh, let's see. Pick it up! Oh my gosh, it did glitch. I think. Because I pick it up and he just drops it. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's it. I wonder if I still get my money. Let's see. <laughs> that's never happened to me before. Let's see. Oh, okay, good. I do get my money. Okay, give him money. Da, da, da. You got a red rupee. We're 20 rupees. We're rich. Alright. So we talked to Fledge. Does he say anything else? <clears throat> okay, so this big wing ceremony, basically, they have to fly their birds uh, against one another. And whoever wins the race gets um, to graduate to the upper class and be called a... Uh, what's it called? An, a knight, but they, they're called Loftwing Knights? I don't remember. Skyloft, Skyloft Knights. There you go. So this is Skyloft. Basically a big chunk of the earth uh, that the goddess ripped off from the actual earth. But she chunked it off the crust and flew it up to the sky. And then you'll, you'll know a little bit more about it. Hey, hey Link, up here. Good morning. Okay. Let's see. So basically, the beginning of these Zelda games, they just show you how to do the controls. But that's what basically he's talking about. Just he wants us to go and talk to him. Okay. If I'm going through the text too fast, um, I'm sorry, guys. But right now, he's just really not talking about anything. He's just showing me how to do my controls. Okay, so we're going up here. Look. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I remember, um, I forgot who it was. I think it was my coworker or um, my cousin. Somebody, some, someone played my game or. I let them borrow my game, and they could not even go up that little ledge. Like, they couldn't figure it out. I think it was my friend Olivia. I don't remember. I was like, let me show you how to do it. This is how you, this is how you do it. And I just snatched the controllers. Get poor. Okay. So now he wants us to fetch this mean cat from the roof. Because he honestly doesn't know how to pet sit. Okay, guy. I better get a good grade for this. Sure, I'm on it. Ooh. Yes, I will do it. For a good grade. Give me a good grade. Since you're my teacher. for this game. Like, when I first started playing it, I loved it. Like, I love that you blink and dash at walls and run, because before you have to do the, uh, the, uh, the barrel roll. <laughs> but yeah, it was, it was so funny. I've seen videos. I don't know if you guys have seen, like, uh, the little animated shorts um, of Zelda. Yeah. Where uh, I'll put some links in the description where y'all can watch some shorts. Um, but they're so funny. I was like, <laughs> oh my, I still watch them till this day. They're just hilarious. Okay, cat, don't bite me, okay? I already get bitten enough at work. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. There's like. Okay, so I'm playing on my, the second floor of my house and. I just totally saw two dudes exchange like a bag with like, I don't know, some kind of drugs or something. And I don't know, they walked away. So I better watch out what I see around here. Anyways, yeah, I did not see that. Back to the game. OK, 
Okay, so Zelda is waiting for us at the statue. Yes. Yes, I should hurry along. And don't bite me, cat. Once I get my sword... Ugh, I just don't like that cat. Okay. okay, the same dudes. What are you doing? Why are you in front of my house? With your cigarette. You better not throw it on my lawn. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna just be quiet here. Let her sing. Y'all enjoy the cutscene. in January, it was denied because I asked off too soon. So I re-put my submission <laughs> in fe early February and then I kept checking on it and checking on it and then I, when my manager made my schedule, I, it was, I was off. I'm, I have the weekend off for the, for the convention so I'm so excited. Um, I'm going to go with my best friend. I'm going to go off, of course, Zelda decked out. Um, Actually, my own uh, shield and prop, or my shield prop and my sword prop. Um, I'll probably put pictures later on my channel. Um, I actually cosplayed as Link at another convention, but um, it was kind of like a, a last minute thing, so it's not the best looking. And I didn't wear a wig, but I did make my own shield, sword, I bought my boots. Um, I even bought the elf ears, but I never put them on because I never figured it out to put them on so we'll just see anyways he's explaining to Zelda that um, when Skyloft children are little they are basically not assigned a bird but they meet their their loft wings and their personal loft wings that they're gonna stay with them for their whole life but right now he's explaining um, when Link met his bird, it was just like love at first sight kind of thing, and that his bird's a rare crimson loft wing. So that's pretty interesting. Um, 
especially when they explain it in um, Hyrule Historia, uh, the background of it. It's so interesting. I definitely recommend, if y'all haven't already, to read it. <laughs> Buddy, stop barking. You know what? I'm gonna shut the door. No, go outside. Go outside. Go. He, he is barking at the neighbors. And there's kids running around, so he's barking a lot. But yeah, it's pretty cool, and he's like, oh, I'm sniffing the air, or whatever he's doing. <gasps> oh no, what? Where's my bird? Having him, jeez, and then you're like, save me, save me. Ooh, ooh. No, I'm just, I'm just picking on her. I actually love Zelda a lot, a lot more than Peach. Sorry if I offended people. I'm not a big fan of Peach at all. I like Zelda way more. I actually like Zelda's role in this game a lot. They gave her more, um, not more character, but a bigger role. Like she's more interactive in this in this game, I guess, because she's technically not a princess yet. Um, but she is very well respected in Skyloft, so that's what I like about her in this game. She's just an ordinary girl, um, but then you know realizes her fate, um, and she accepts it wholeheartedly. It's a very long cutscene. <laughs> mm -hmm. She pushed him off the ledge. Okay. Hey, and they're like, I'll save you. <laughs> he looks kind of funny. following you and stopping you randomly. Um, her dad's name is the same as the owl's name in Ocarina of Time, so I'm like, is there a connection there? Um, does that, is that saying that Zelda's dad, his, his spirit is like reincarnated into the owl and he helps Link? Like during Ocarina of Time? That's like a theory of mine, because I figured it out um, you know, not now, but when I first started the game. Hmm. Okay. Yes, please tell that to the instructor so I won't get a bad grade because I want to graduate. Okay. All right. So at while Zelda tends to her bird, we're gonna go and talk to. Oh, ran out that pole. Oh, don't don't get tired now. Okay, 
so oh my gosh, how much have I been playing for now? Let me let me see. I do not know how long. Uh, but basically I'll stop it here. We'll just save our game and I'll continue on. Um, I'm gonna still keep recording. I'll just save and um, I'll keep recording, but this is the end of video one. Alright guys, but it's been a pleasure speaking with y'all, introducing myself. I, my name is Gina, my channel name Via Vanille. Um, adios, hasta luego.